welcome back to another video. So if you saw one of my recent videos where I showed you how to receive and decode in Marsat using a patch antenna, then you're going to be interested in this new product. Now this is a dedicated in Marsat passive antenna manufactured by Neuralik. As you can see, it's a PCB style antenna with a female SMA connection on the corner so you can easily attach a low noise amplifier, a filter, and then of course off to your SDR receiver. Now for my test with this antenna, I'm going to be using the Sawbird Plus IO, which is a premium dual ultra low noise amplifier and saw filter module for the L band, which is of course where we find Inmarsat and the Aero transmissions. The filter has a center frequency of 1542 MHz and the antenna has dimensions of 88 millimeters tall and 77 millimeters wide. Let's go ahead and install this alongside the filter and I'm also going to be using here the NESDR Smarty SDR receiver from Neuralek. So we're going to connect all these up together and I'm going to show you how I've mounted it using a tripod and then we're going to hook it up to some software and see how well this new Inmarsat antenna from Neuralek performs. So here we have the antenna mounted on a little bracket on top of my tripod. Um, the head of this tripod, I can angle it backwards and forwards and, and uh, swivel it round so I can kind of roughly point it towards where the Inmarsat satellite is. As we go down, we have the filter and then we have the NESDR. Now the filter itself, it does need to be powered. So the NESDR Smarty is powering the Sawbird filter uh, using the BIOS T. Now the Neuralek SDR receiver is just connected to a long USB cable. I think it's around three meters long and that's just popping through my window into my computer. As you can see, I've got a short patch lead coming from the connector down to the filter and then the SDR receiver is just plugged straight into the filter. Now it may look like it's pulling on that connector slightly because of the, you know, the weight of the filter and the SDR receiver. Obviously it would be better to mount it so there was no strain on that connector. So let's go ahead and load up SDR Sharp and see what we can decode. So with SDR Sharp connected and running, we're tuned to 1.54 gigahertz. And as you can see here, we can see the 600 and the 1200 BPS uh, Aero transmissions. Now using a program called uh, J Aero, we can decode those transmissions. If you're interested more about that software, then uh, go and have a look at my previous Inmarsat videos where I cover exactly how to use this software. But as you can see, we've got some nice strong signals and that's with literally just pointing this antenna roughly in the right position. Now with some time and a little bit of tweaking, I'm sure I could probably get it a little bit more tuned in. So let's go ahead and have a look at uh, Skytel C and let's have a look at the NCS channel. And we're gonna use the quick UI here just so that we can view some of the STDC messages coming through. Now this is quite interesting because it just works, which is great. So that little small antenna that's mounted on the tripod, uh, it's picking up all of this. It's managing to decode the, the aero uh, information and it's also able to decode all of this. Now, the little bit of video that i just shown before this was uh, speeded up because it uh, sometimes takes some time to you know, receive quite a lot of frames that build up a message. But as you can see here, I've successfully decoded some of these messages. So there you go, guys. That's a quick introduction to the brand new Neuralek Inmarsat antenna. Now, if you're interested in these kind of products, I've got a couple of links in the description below. Uh, one is for an Amazon UK shop and one is for a Amazon US shop. So just click the link on whichever one you want to order from and you'll be able to find all these filters and all these SDR receivers, all the ones that I recommend and use in the video within that page. So you can just go ahead and order from there. Don't forget, I'm also on Twitter. I'll leave my handle down below. And if you haven't already, go check out my Patreon page. Maybe you might be the first patron, you never know. Anyway, until the next video, guys, you take care and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.